spiritual way, I know the prayer. And Father, what God said to me, I'm going to write to the word of God. Bring me the earth. Get me up now. God is moving. He that have a fear, let him hear it. Yes. What the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Yes. With the last day. Yes. As I'm going to say that when I said Wednesday evening, I said, I told my God in the heart. Yes, yes. I am very serious what I allow from my heart now. Amen. Yes. I ain't talking, I ain't taking no more foolishness. Yes. God told me just last night, He said, You need to focus on leading who you who I call you the pastor. You, you have no time to let stuff get in your spirit to distract you from leading my people and giving my people the word of God. So I'm going to tell you right front, don't take no, bring no fish to me. If you bring it, don't talk to me. God says, stay focused. And he said, she said, I lost my focus, I lost my focus. But I got my focus back. Have you talked about it anymore? You allow me to know? I don't care no more. God said, I got you to focus. I'm not listening to this. Because when the devil gets in my spirit and distracts me from telling you what the truth is. You do whatever you want to, I don't care. Because I'm here to please God. God, God has rubbed my spirit for the last several weeks. Galatians chapter 1, verse 10. He says, If I seek to please me, I should not be a servant of Christ. Y'all. Right. Not my mother, right. not my sister, my brother. Right. I'm here to preach God. Right. God right. Right. So that's what God said. That's what people in the South of that Raymond that are hungry for the word. Yeah. Yeah. They're not hungry for mess. Yeah. They're not hungry for who's They're hungry for the word. And I'm going to give you the word. Right. And you have to sit to my spirit. Right. And I told y'all a few seconds ago, he said, when you sit, be sitting to my spirit, I will bless the people back. Yeah. 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 Numbers chapter 14, verse 24. All right. Hey. All right. Go. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm going to be here for a while. Uh -huh. I'm going to be here for a while. Oh. That's why God said, don't, that's why he stopped saying, you don't need no music. No. 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 You need the word. Numbers chapter 14, verse 24. Yeah. And I will read from the new record standard that I'm going to God let me work the text. God has whipped me from letting the whole rest of it in my spirit. He said, I called you to lead. And I can tell you what to do. Let me go, let me go to the second Chronicles. Y'all stay with numbers, but I'm going to just tell you something he told me. In second Chronicles chapter 10, there was a king called both uh, Rehoboam, mm -hmm. and he listened to the wrong people, yeah. and he listened to the right people, and he got in trouble, yeah. and he called the people he, he rang over no. to fall. So I'm following God. Yeah. At the end of the conference year, going into the new conference year, I'm following God. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, talk about me, whatever, it don't matter no more. Right. There's some people who are hungry. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're hungry, Tough love. That's you with God. Right. Numbers 14, verse 24, from the New American Standard says this. Listen to this carefully. I'm going to read it real slow. But my servant, Caleb, because he had a different spirit, All right. and followed me fully, right. I like the New American Standard, fully. Yeah. And I will bring in, watch this, I will bring into the land which I which he entered, and his descendants shall take possession of it. That's what I want. If I got some more, I'm gonna talk to you about. All right. All right. All right. Most gracious and all wise Father, yes. thank you. Yes, Here I am again, God. Yes, Lord. I need you <laughs> to speak to me. Yes. To speak to your people. Yes, God help me. Yes. Send freshness and clarity of word. Yes. That your word will fall on good and fertile ground. And produce fruit. In days to come. Yes. Move by your mighty hand. Yes. And move by your mighty power. 
and these blessings we ask. In Jesus' name we pray, we thank you. Amen. But my servant Caleb, because he had a different spirit and, and has followed me fully, he and I will bring into the land which he entered, and his descendants shall possess it. I won't talk with this subject for as long as God says talk. A different spirit. I want to pose a question to all of us, including myself. What spirit do you have? What spirit do you have? Or oh, Caleb had a different spirit. Right. No, I Raymond, start with, chapter, start with verse number seven. And this is really probably a continuation of the first Sunday when they talked about Numbers chapter 13, verse 33. Mm -hmm. Perspective. Mm -hmm. How you see yourself. All right. All right. And how God told him to spy out Canaan. See what it looked like, what's in it? And you had 10 of them who were afraid and scared. You had two who believed God. I'm going to pose another question. Do you believe God? Do you believe God? Now this 14th chapter of Numbers chapter, verse 7 says this. And they spoke, and they who the they is, is Joshua and Caleb spoke to all the congregation of the sons of Israel. The land which we possess passed through to spy out is an exceedingly good land. He saw that they come to the congregation. Y'all, he said, they say, this land we passed through is an exceedingly good land. This is a blessing. Now, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to take myself ahead of myself. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, God. They were promised Canaan. Mm -hmm. They allowed what they saw to kill the blessing. Mm -hmm. What we see <coughs> can kill the blessing. Mm -hmm. And when God promises you that you won't have it, right. but you will let people talk and get in your ear, mm -hmm. and I'm sure that same reason, like, you better guard your ear gate. Amen. Right, right. Amen. Not only your heart, but guard your ear gate. What goes in your ear will go to your heart. Yes, right. And then it will affect your life and it will affect, affect how you think and how you feel. Amen. Guard it. Mm -hmm. Then he guard it. Verse 8. If the Lord is displeased, or is pleased rather, if the Lord is pleased, satisfied, delighted yeah. with us, I feel a spirit here right now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, I'm going to preach. In the name of Jesus. With us, then he will bring us into the land and give it to us. A land which flows with milk and honey. Yeah. They're describing what the land is like. They describe the blessing that God has in the land for the people of God. Uh -huh. And I told verse 9, don't rebel. Amen. Don't rebel. Yeah. All right. Only do not rebel. Do not revolt. Uh -huh. Against the Lord. Uh -huh. And do not fear, watch this, do not fear the people. That's in black and white. Joshua and Caleb are telling the congregation, don't you fear the people. That sounds like me what God told Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. Their protection has been removed. Watch this. Listen to this. Help me talk slowly, God. I want to do this again. Only do not rebel. Right. Do not revolt against the Lord. Do not fear the people of the land. Where are you going? 
the blessed that he's going to, don't fear the people. For they will be our prayer. Don't be scared of them because I'm the Lord God and I promise you that I'm going to bring you in the land. Don't be scared of them. Don't be afraid of them. They will be your prayer. They will be your prayer. But watch this. Their protection has been removed from them. You should have been hollering on that one. Their protection has been removed from them. I removed their protection. When I said I'm going to do a thing, I'm going to do a thing. I removed their protection. It don't matter how big they are, how large they are, how many they are. I have removed their protection. Mm. And the Lord is with us. No, no, thank you. Yeah. And do not fear them. Don't be scared of them. Yes. Don't be afraid of them. Amen. Verse 10. But all the congregation, watch this, watch this, catch this shift in the text. Verse 9 says, The Lord is with us. God has removed their protection. They give them words of blessings. But watch verse 10. But all the congregation, all the people, said the stone them. That's what it is today. Give a person a word, give a person a word, a word of God, and what is God for? Just to live through his God twice. What was a word and one was an affirmation to the word. Yeah. I'm going to ask you a question. What were you doing when the word was going forth? I don't know. I don't know. Where was your mind when the word was going forth? Yeah. What was your attitude while the word was going forth? Yeah. What was your mind when God gave affirmation to the word? Yeah. You know, years ago, we should, my sister's fourth one down, those all folks will do what she just did. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I said, I'm about to bring some stuff back that, that, that we have lost in the church. All right. All right. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. But my people got to get in position yeah. to receive what I'm going to bring through. Yeah. 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 Don't close your ears. Because this is what happened right here. They spoke of stoning them with stones. We go with words now. We stone people with words. God said, stop the words, stop, the stro the, stop throwing rocks. Right. Stop throwing rocks. Yeah. But watch what God does, though. Their mindset was twisted. Mm -hmm. They allowed the enemy to get their minds and, and close their ears to what God was about to bless them with. Throw a stone in them. Throwing stones at them. Then, 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 then. The glory of the Lord. Yes. Ooh, Jesus. The Bible says, where the 18th chapter of Matthew says, where the two or three got together, Amen. I will be in the midst of them. Yes. Caleb, Joshua. Mm -hmm. Caleb, Joshua. Mm -hmm. The glory. Of the Lord appeared in the tent of meeting to all the sons of Israel. <laughs> Meaning God showed himself in the temple. All right. God showed himself in the church. Yes. God, God showed himself in the church. That I'm still real. Yes. And I need to be, be real. Yes. And not fake it. Yes. And try to make it. Yes. God said, I need real, real, a real remnant. Yes. So follow me and don't fake it. No, don't go that third day. That third day, have faith until you make it. No, they don't, God is not up to faith. Right. God doesn't bless. God does not bless faith. That's right. He blesses realness and truth. Did right. you say, Keith? Uh, and you said this section this morning. A sincere heart. Let me go to this right here. Hold on, so you repent. We have God talking to the day. We have invitation here 
Hey, well, I'm, I'm good. No, you're not good. None of us are good, yeah. And all we go to the altar and ask God for forgiveness. And the one we pick me turn from and turn to. Turn from what I'm doing, turn from what I'm saying, turn from what I'm at, turn from what I'm saying, turn from that and turn to God. You wonder why you're not in mess? Because you got your stuff messed up. Your mind's messed up. Your walk's messed up. Your talk's messed up. Your attitude's messed up. So when you start shifting to me, yes. watch me shift some stuff to you. Verse 11. The Lord said to Moses, to the leader of the congregation, the leader, there's only one leader. That's right. Y'all got to say amen. There's only one leader. Anything with two heads is a monster. There's only one leader. And there's only one under shepherd. The leader is Jesus Christ. The under shepherd is the pastor. So the leader is talking to the under shepherd. It's in verse 11. The Lord said to Moses, the under shepherd, how long will this people spurn me? Let me revoke and despise me. He asked the question to Moses, the leader. How long are they going to do this, man? Because so Moses, I don't know, Lord. You know all. Right. You are the thing. I don't know. And how long will they not believe in me? Despite all the signs, all the signs, the miracles, which I have performed in the midst. I perform the miracles right before them. They see the world of them. And they're still walking in disobedience. They're still walking in messed up minds. Messed up attitude. I show myself. I reveal myself right before their eyes. And they're still messed up in the mind. Raymond, John the verse 22. Help me, God. Twenty-two. I call twenty-two. To give what God has done will cause you to miss your blessing. Yeah. I'm gonna say it again. Forgive what God has done will cause you to miss your blessing. Yeah. Look at verse twenty-two. Surely all the men who have seen my glory and my signs which I performed or did in Egypt in the wilderness. Yet have put me to the test. Watch this ten times. Mm. You have tried my nerves ten times. My Lord. My Lord. Not one time. The Bible said ten times, doesn't it? Yeah. It literally means ten times. You have tested me ten times. And have not listened to my voice. And all the ten times, you still didn't hear me. Mm-hmm. We sit in the church and I hear God talk. Mm-hmm. And when I say God talk, God talk to his word. We sit here in Wonderland. Mm-hmm. We fall asleep in church. Mm-hmm. All those things that are going to hinder you from hearing what God is saying. You become sleepy mm-hmm. when the word comes forth. You all up when, when the dance and the music is going good. But when the word comes forth, you sleep. I don't talk about those sometimes he thinks it's about preaching. Let's be real. And I repeat that sleeping spirit. Come on, y'all. Verse 23. Shall by no means see the land which I swore to the Father. Cause you not listen, you ain't gonna get the promise. I promise you. All right. This is verse twenty-three. By no means see the land which I swore. I promise 
to their fathers, nor shall any of those who spurn me see it. Who despise, mm -hmm. who talk about me, Jack, mm -hmm. you're not going to see the land. That's right. And if you look at the story of Israel, all those who God promised to the promised land, they didn't make it. That's right. They died in the wilderness. Yeah. They died in their complaining. Yeah. They died in their moaning. Right. They died in their discontentment. They died in the wilderness. Guess what? <laughs> stand up, Raider. I'm, yeah, Riley, stand up, Riley. See how, see, Riley? Drop the generation of men. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Riley. You said that, baby. Thank you. That generation win. That's right. Generation before them didn't make it in. And they were promised to go in. But the next generation made it in. And I'm going to say another thing for me. Moses was supposed to take Israel into the kingdom. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say, he allowed them to frustrate him. Yes, that he got mad yes. and operated in disobedience to God. God tells Moses to speak to the rock in numbers. Come on, come on. Now let's go back for a minute. In Exodus, when the people didn't have no water, they complained to Moses, and Moses went to God, and they complained, and they grumbled. And God says, strike the rock in Exodus. Yes. But in Numbers, he goes to the people about that. And this is what bothers me. He and Adam go from worship to going to, I don't know what happened between worship and the rock. All right. All right. And I know what we talked about a few, few months ago. Right. I don't know what happened to you know, worship in the time of that book, the glory of God all on them, and going to the rock. Yeah. Something happened that caused Moses to operate in disobedience. He called the people rebels. That's right. Amen. He called them rebels. And because of his anger toward the people who he's supposed to lead, he struck the rock. Yes. And when God prayed, he said, Moses, trust me and speak to the rock. Yes. He allowed the people to frustrate him. Let me tell you what God told me. He said, Raymond, Ross Jr., you stop making, letting people frustrate you that you won't do what I told you to do. That was me. And I'm asking God to help me. Yeah. Mr. Advantage Moses, stay focused. Moses saw it, but didn't go in. Moses was called to take them in, not let Joshua take them in. He allowed who he pastored to frustrate him into anger and in discontent and operating in disobedience. You know what's so bad about it? Not only with Moses, but his, his, his partner, his brother, Aaron, couldn't make it, didn't make it in either. Why? Wow, he was a sitting pastor. I'm going to tell y'all something back to the Holy Ghost. Everybody who's a leader, you better be a leader. There's a charge on your life too. Yes. Yes. As well as a charge on the pastor's life. Yes. Yes. Hello, somebody. Yes. Verse 24. Raymond, I think you got it. I need you to Joshua 14. I think it's a little bit of a moment. When you follow God, follow God, he will bless you and your descendants. Amen. Riley, stand up again, please. Can you stand for a while? Thank you, baby. Verse 24 says this. But Caleb, but my servant Caleb, the faithful spy who reported the promised land favorable urged its capture. Mm -hmm. Because he had a different spirit. All right. 
and has followed me fully. This is God talking. Because, consequently, <laughs> in spite of, he had a different spirit. He had another spirit away from everybody else in Israel. He had a different spirit from the other ten spies. He and Joshua had a different spirit. Watch this. His spirit, well, his spirit, his mind, his disposition, his attitude was different. He followed, he pursued after God. He went after God. That's right. He wanted God. Yeah. He didn't want what everybody was saying. He wanted God. Yeah. He followed God fully. Yeah. Completely. Wholeheartedly. Watch this. You can say that in a minute, brother. I promise you. I will, I will bring into the land which where you enter and his descendants, his seed shall possess it. That's my granddaughter. If I want my granddaughter to be blessed, I got to operate in God's blessings. Riley, come here. Come here, come here, come here, girl. Come here. This is, my, this is one of my granddaughters. If I want my other granddaughter and my other grandson, oh my God, I only got one grandson. My grandson to inherit the promise of God, I as the grandfather, now I'm going to put Charles on you now, boy. And you as the dad got to operate in what God says do, and your grandchildren and your Daughters and son will receive the promise that God has in store for them. And we go further. It ain't for you, it's for your family too. I'm seeing something existing already. David, where he's at. And even when his time comes, I gotta work, I gotta work it out just for me. I gotta live right before them. Amen. I just heard from David just the other day. He, he, I'm, I'm gonna give you call what he said, because he just moved to a new location. And I prayed over both of them and I told him, you gotta find a church where you, you can grow and mature. Amen. Don't go to church if you go to church because then your mom told you go to church. Right. Go to church and find God and be strength in God and be strength where you need to be strength from. Amen. He's what he told me. He's what he told me. He called me up and he said, we, we, we get settled. He said, Daddy, but I, we kind of boxed it in two weeks because we don't know where we're going at. I said, you're going to find it. You're going to find it and you're going to mature. Yes, that's right. Because I, I declare it yes. and I decree it yes. over y'all's life. Yes. And I decree that I'll do what I'm going to do as the father, grandfather, and the other shepherd of the star that have baptized three cultures of holiness that my people who are pastors can be blessed. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, baby. Thank you. Yeah. And that, that's what I can give you those blessings by not being obedient to God. It's a burden to the leader. Yes. He has to stay focused, 
Stay alert. Stay vigilant. And you cannot bring everything to the leader. Can I just give you advice? Because God just dropped my spirit a few, few, uh, few days ago. He said, people need to pray when they're ready to do. Now, that's what God said. But also, my pastor, I was like, and now I know what he shared with me. He shared a whole bunch of stuff that I'm facing now. And I never know why he said it. Listen to this. He told me that. Yeah. He literally told me that before he passed. Now, the whole lot of stuff he told me before he passed is now going to prison. And I got to prepare myself for what's going on. And when I see it going on, I got to take the God. Hear me clearly, I cannot go to be right. right. That's right. I'm going down here. God told you I'm going to be a while. I can't even go to her. I just prophesied just a few moments ago. I can't go to her. I got to go to him. Him. He's the leader. I follow the leader. As he follows the leader, which is God. Jesus Christ and God. Amen. Watch this from the new living that church says, I love this. The Lord of Joshua, right? New Living Church says, Church says this. But my servant Caleb has a different attitude. <laughs> then the others have. He has remained loyal to me. So I will bring him into the land he explored. His descendants will possess. Watch this. I like this. His descendants will possess their full share. Oh. Oh. All right. Riley! Yeah. Hey, hey, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. Don't go. Stay right there, stay right there. Oh, She's going to move it quickly. Yeah. I'm going to make sense of it. Watch verse 8. 
Nevertheless, nevertheless, my brother who went up with me made the heart of the people melt with fear. He made them afraid. Those who went up with him made the other people, the other people in the camp, the other congregation, congregants, made them afraid. Yeah. Made them scared yeah. by what they say. They lost. We are grasshoppers. Mm -hmm. Chapter 13 of Numbers. We're grasshoppers. And they're like giants. Mm -hmm. But I, woo, he, but I follow. Mm -hmm. I follow the Lord. My God, fully. Yeah. Watch this. He said, I yeah. could not deviate yeah. from what God showed me and what God said and what I saw. I, was, I didn't care what the other ten said. In the negativity. Mm -hmm. Do not let the negativity get in your spirit. Because it will mess you up. Mm -hmm. Now, so Moses swore on that day. Moses promised on that day. Saying, surely the land on which your foot has tried will be an inheritance, watch this, to you and your children tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Forever. You and your children forever. That's, that's the word. That's the word of the Lord. Forever. It didn't say one time. It didn't say one year. It said forever. Forty-five years. I'm gonna show you what happened. 
like why God taught Paul to be forty for forty five years? Watch this. Forty five years from the time that the Lord spoke the word to Moses, when Israel walked in the wilderness, and now behold, look, see, I am eighty five years old today. Hold on a second. Thank you, Lord. Everybody who's 80 and above, raise your hand. 85, 80 and above. Come on now. All right. Watch this. At 85. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
bishop. My Lord. The twin. Now me. Get women. Women. He ain't both he bragging, but he was promised this, okay? Amen. Amen. Give me what's mine. It has been promised to me by God mm -hmm. to get what God has promised him. Mm -hmm. And now God tells Joshua, bless Caleb yes. mm -hmm. with what he spoke to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I won't say the quote, mm -hmm. but God has done it. God has blessings for all of us. I'm giving you up. God has blessings for all of us. Amen. Amen. You may be going through. You may be going through some speed bumps. Mm -hmm. But God, God. has Thank some you. blessings for you. Yes. Some blessings. Yes. Plural for you. Have the right spirit. Yes. Caleb had a different spirit. Mm -hmm. Caleb Follow God fully, mm -hmm. and he received the blessings 45 years later. Mm -hmm. The blessed part of it is that God gave him strength for 45 years. Right. He was more strong in his life than he was 45 years later. Mm -hmm. God shows us that God says, if you stay faithful to me, I'll bless you, I'll strengthen you, I'll heal you, I'll deliver you, yes, I'll move yes, for you. Because guess what? I love you. Oh, yes. I love you. With an everlasting love. Amen. God bless you. God keep you. This is our prayer. Amen. You may stay in the invitation. The doors of the church are always open. And I'm going to pose a question to all of us. If, you, if the Lord would come today, yeah. oh Lord, <laughs> see that? This is two pages. I got two, two pages. I got well, a full page and some on the second page. Jesus. People are going through stuff. Yeah. 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 They're going through stuff. Let me, let me remind us of what Wednesday night. There were seven to eight people who had cancer mm -hmm. on the premise. Yeah. 
People are going through stuff. Amen. And here's the question I want to pose to us. If God was coming today, will you make it in? If you, if God was coming today, would you make it in? Look at your life. Look at that's what God like. If you'd come right now, would we make it in? We all need the Lord. You and I said, all of us need more of the Lord. Look at the mind. Ask yourself a question. Because I've been watching with a few Jesus Sundays. Nobody's coming. Nobody got nothing to do no prayer. Mm -hmm. We all need prayer. Right. It's me. It's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. It's not my mother, it's not my father, not my sister, my brother. It's me individually. It's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. on the church. Whatever you need from the Lord. Will you come?
Mr. Brock and lost his brother, uh, the uh, Franklin family, Franklin family, and the Ruth Alexander, okay, and Clarice Combs, um, Gary Morgan, and children, and Brandon, Lizzie, Lindsay, Brit, Brandon, Brittany. Okay. All right. Thank you. Traveling back and forth, uh, 
from the home to the vicinity. I pray you give him strength. Yes. Give him energy, God. Yes, Touch him and bless him in the might and in an abundant way, God. In the name of Jesus. God, I pray you bless our upcoming annual conference. Yes. Be everything be done and said to bring your honor and bring you glory. Have your way in our annual conference, God. Oh, that those of us who be traveling, God, give us traveling mercy back, God. And we're trying to turn back, give us traveling mercy back, God. Even though we're trying to day day, God, give them traveling mercy back, God. Give them traveling mercy, God. In Jesus' name, I pray, God. And I pray, God, you bless everyone who break for the word. And I add your calm, God. Anoint them a fresh, fresh anointing, God. Fresh word will be in them, God. Use them, God, for the glory of God. In Jesus' name, we pray, God. Oh, God, just move by your mighty hand and your mighty power, God. These blessings we ask in Jesus' mighty Lord's so name, we pray and we do thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Most gracious and all wise Father, I pray you to lead Bishop Jones and myself and even Elder Morris and our annual conference. Lead and guide us into the wisdom of the Lord God. In the name of Jesus, move mightily for us. Help us be led and guided by thee and the alone in God. In the name of Jesus, we pray and we thank you. Amen. Let me give you some pastor uh, consistent and also I just received two days ago uh, a program for an annual conference so I will leave that off as well. Uh, which I do at the moment. Just want to emphasize uh, that all I'm saying is um, you are uh, 225 are due today. Today, please man, please sir. All uh, also, all reports are due today, too, from all our auxiliaries are due today as well. Uh, also, all preachers, deacons, deacons, and trustees, the $25 are due today. Please, ma'am, please, sir. Uh, I want to also thank you who has contributed to the Baptist School. Outreach ministry. Amen. Thank you. Amen. People who are outside here. Amen. 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 Huh? Twelve, Twelve to four. Twelve to four. Okay. Twelve to four. <laughs> so, uh, do that. The, they will do that. And I want to again thank you so much for what you've done. Those boxes filled up. We thank God. And today is a deadline for that. Today, thank you so much. All right. I'll move on from that. I hear a conference. Uh, we we'll convene in Louisville, Kentucky. It will start Thursday, the 1st through the 4th. The theme uh, for the conference is the Lord's presence guarantees my portion. Right. Right. She gave me that and I said, uh, he said, well, he said, Bishop Ross, you can, uh, whatever the Lord, I don't know, I'm going to speak the theme. I'm going to ask my help about with that. 
And that comes from Psalms 23 in its entirety. The Lord's presence guarantees my portion. Yeah, yeah. So again, that will convene in Louisville, 16, 1606 West Chestnut, where Bishop Wardell Jones is the host pastor. On the first night, the first night, the first night, Bishop Jones called me to the Lord and led me, Bishop Rawls, to get this person. What do you think? All right, Bishop. <laughs> that first night speaker will be Evangelist Ellen Morris.
Yeah, but I, I got I got to tell you. Today's my birthday, y'all. Yeah. Hey, Jesus, 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 Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you.
Oh God, I pray you open the windows of heaven and pour out your people a blessing. There will be no room enough to receive God. Blessing of my hand and abundant way, God. Now that the hymn that's able to keep you from falling, present you faultless with the presence of the only wise God, our Savior. Be glory, majesty, and dominion power, both now and forever. All the people, so. Amen. Amen.